In this paper, we propose a new visualization tool for boxing skill assessment. Our system visualizes high-level boxing skills such as the richness of the actions and the transition of them. We first capture shadow boxing motion from the boxers, in which they perform boxing moves such as the attacks and transitions with an imaginary opponent. We check the posture that start and end boxing actions and apply k-means to cut them into fat looks. We visualize the looks with the mean posture performed by a character and apply PCAs to place the posture on a 2D plane such that similar posture are placed closer together. We visualize the number of posture of each fat node using size of the corresponding character. This allows us to evaluate the standard posture of the bosses. We then cut the actions into fat edges and use the thickness of the edge to represent the number of actions within the cluster. This allows us to visualize the variety of the actions. Finally, we visualize the content of the edges by adding some patterns, which represents the high energy posture within the actions, such as the punching postures. This is a medium skill bosser with one main red posture to start and end actions. The bosser, however, conducts a secondary posture during a turning movement and another posture during some attacks. This means that his bossing techniques has some rooms of improvement. The boss has a large number of local motion. Notice that he relies heavily on right left combo, which to be avoided as the opponent to take advantage on such a frequently large combo. There are some movements to different directions. Then there are some left punches. The boss also has a number of other bossing combos. However, the overall variety of actions are still limited, which is a potential weakness. Green and blue postures should be avoided as they deviate from the main red posture. Limit action can be started from them. This is the boss of medium skill with one main red posture and a few secondary postures, such as the blue, green, and the orange ones. Notice that the purple and the green postures are created when the boss raises his arms unintentionally during the capture. Our system catches this and presents it in the graph. The red main posture has a large variety of actions. However, it's also obvious that some actions are too compact and are only conducted once or twice. This means that the boss lacks consistency in bossing techniques. The bull posture is a subtle preparatory movement for the right punches. This should be avoided as the opponent can tell his move when seeing such a posture. This is a law for his bosser. He has multiple posture with different next movement to start actions. The green one is the relatively major posture in which necks are wider apart. The blue one is the secondary posture with narrow neck distance. The red and the orange ones are less used postures. Neck movement is important in bossing to efficiently launch actions. The posture with wider neck distance are considered inferior as they limit the ability for swift evasive moves. There is a good variety of movement actions, which allows the bosser to move around efficiently. However, for attacking actions, lots of them are long combo that are only produced one or twice during the session. This shows that the bossing cat is not mature and the attacking actions are random. This is a skillful bosser with main red posture that allows him to launch the majority of the actions. However, he has a secondary inferior green posture in which the arms are slightly further apart. This should be avoided as it is difficult to dodge attacks with such a posture. The bosser tripped over during the capturing session, which creates the boot posture.
The boxer has a large variety of movement actions, allowing him to efficiently move around. He also has a large variety of attacking actions and has good consistency in launching them. This shows that he has good experience in performing these boxing moves.